Welcome to this remote control quick tip. In this quick tip, I want to show you a trick that one of my subscribers have talked about. Now this, as you probably recognize, is the Nighthawk 280 Pro quadcopter. This is already reviewed on the channel, so you can go and look at it there. And we've also not only reviewed it, but we also added a buzzer to it too. So here we have a buzzer mounted at the front and plugged into the side. And in that video, we actually went through how to set that up. There has been one other very common request, and that is how do you wire up the VBAT so that the flight controller knows what the battery voltage is, and if you're doing something with a Tyrannus, you could potentially set that back to your transmitter too. Now, in your additional bag of bits that you get with your quadcopter, there is actually two of these little cables with just two connectors, and on the other side is where you need to have a look at for VBAT. But before I show you this little trick, I need to say a very big thank you to a gentleman called Daniel, who actually showed this to us. Kudos to you, Daniel, for sharing this, and thank you for being part of the Painless 360 channel. So, the way that Daniel actually did it, which is a really smart way, it's easier for me to describe how you actually do it by looking at the manual. So here's the page from the manual that actually shows the bottom control board with the front of the craft at the right hand side and the back at the left hand side. And you can see at the top here we have the battery inspection, they call it, but we use it as VBAT in clean flight. And you can see that the ground pin is towards the back of the quadcopter and the VCC or the battery voltage is towards the front of the copter. Now, interestingly, if you look right on the right hand side, there's something called a power output, which is going to present the battery voltage, VCC and ground, and you can turn that port on and off with that little switch in the middle, the power output switch. So if you actually turn that power out switch on, then you can connect the plus of the power output to the plus pin on the battery inspection input. You then connect the negative pin on the battery output to the negative pin on the battery inspection input again, and then you have your VBAT connection. Very straightforward and very neat. So here's a picture of how I've done it here. So there's my two pins inside plugged into that port and then plugged into the side here actually on the model itself. So hopefully that will help those of you that are looking how to do this. If you're having problems with VBAT, then we also have this video here that explains in clean flight with NASA 32 style boards how to set it up, configure it, set the scaling, and also what things like the alarms sound like and what the noises the buzzer will make if something's going on. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless 360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.